Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the next Ball and Clevis test video series. You guys had a great response to the very first video that I did on all the ball joints and clevis testing. I'll link that down below. If you haven't seen that one, definitely check it out when this one's done. Uh, we're gonna be testing these things very, very similar to the first one. But before we get into this, let's roll that intro and get started. Alright, so you guys gave me a whole bunch of additional suggestions of different clevises and different types of fastening systems that you wanted to see tested. So I've collected a whole bunch of different types and that's what we're going to be doing today is testing these to failure. Now we're going to be doing this with pulling forces. Yes, I've seen a lot of comments about how it's not realistic, uh, how about how I should also be testing pushing forces. We may do that in a future video, but for now, just to test these units out, we will be testing it with pulling forces, just like we did in the very first video. So in this video, we'll be using the same rig that we used in the first video, which is just simply a piece of three quarter inch plywood, some rope, and some different fastening attachments. These are the various units we'll be testing in this video. In the previous video, the Golden Clevis from Sullivan had the best performance, and you guys asked for this to be tested without the clip. We will do that to check and see if there's any difference in performance. We'll be testing the Dubro 440 Easy Adjust Ball Link, which has a bolt that goes through the end, and this is adjustable. There was some requests for a captive ball. So I picked up a Dubro heavy duty ball link with a captive ball. So this is a ball joint that goes over top of the ball. We'll be testing one of these smaller plastic clevises. And we'll also be testing one of the larger plastic clevises. These are a fairly normal thing to receive in many different airplane kits. We'll also be testing the Dubro plastic clevis. Now this has a brass pin with a metal retainer. We will be testing this with the retainer as that is part of the unit. We'll also be testing a Dubro heavy duty monster ball joint. We'll also be testing the Dubro easy connectors where the brass piece goes through the servo horn and your control rod goes through the brass piece. And lastly, we'll be testing one of these metal ball joints. I believe this came out of a SkyMaster kit. This is a brass ball with an aluminum housing. One of the requests from the previous video was instead of threading the rod into the ball joints all the way, do a more realistic test and only thread them in about three quarters of the way. So all of the test samples today will be threading the rod in approximately three quarters of the total distance. On the metal rods, we'll also be using a nut to secure the rod and the clevis together, which is a normal situation you would do in an aircraft. Now, just so you guys are aware, I have purchased or I have these units in stock. None of them have been supplied by a manufacturer. And the reason I'm telling you that is there's zero bias to this test. I'm purely doing this test just so the RC community has information about the strength of these units and the failure point. Now, if you guys have any additional comments, questions, or suggestions on what you'd like to see tested, please list them below in the comments section. Feel free to reach out to me as well, and you can send me an email. The email address is listed down below, but it's the lighter side of RC at gmail.com. And let's get into this test. So as per our previous test, our test stand is 2588 grams, 2588 grams, which equals 5.7 pounds. Up first is our large plastic clevis. The large plastic clevis failed with 18 pounds added. 
for a total of 23.7 pounds. And up next is the small plastic clevis. The small plastic clevis failed when 24 pounds were added, the total weight of 29.7 pounds. The small plastic clevis failed because the clevis itself opened up. The clevis did not break or snap. For the next test, we're going to test the Dubro Easy Connector. Now this comes with reusable nylon snap-on or permanent mount push nut. To get the strongest performance, we'll be mounting this with the permanent push nut as well as setting it up like you would experience in a plane. So we've installed a servo horn in the mix. The Dubro Easy connector failed when 47 pounds were added for a total of 52.7 pounds. The failure point was the rod coming out of the golden brass holder piece. So because the failure point was the rod sliding out of the brass piece, we're gonna hook this up again and hook it up so the rod cannot slide out of the brass piece and see how much more weight this thing can handle. It was angled quite a bit while it was in the testing phase. So we'll see how much more it can take. So because this is already probably fatigued, we're just going to go straight to 50 pounds and see if this thing can hold it. All right, that time the Dubro Easy Connector failed at 60 pounds, added onto the platform for a total of 65.7 pounds, with the metal clip on the back of the brass piece giving way. All right guys, next up is the Dubro plastic clevis with the retaining clip installed because it is part of the clip itself. So the Dubro plastic clevis failed at 100 pounds added to the platform. So total weight of 105.7 pounds with the retaining clip giving away and the pin pulling out. The pin is still intact. Next up is the Dubro Heavy Duty 440 Ball Link. The product number is 884 and this is a captive ball system. Oh, I think the carbon's breaking. <laughs> All right guys, the captive ball is doing much better than I expected. We're up to 100 pounds and it still hasn't let go. And I'll try, if I can play the sounds, I will, but the carbon is actually bending and just getting ready to snap. So what I need to do is I need to cut this carbon off and reset a little bit lower on the carbon plate. All right, so the carbon mounting plate for this Dubro captured ball link has been reset and we're gonna go straight back to 100 pounds now. We made it up to a 50 pound plus all the little weights, which equals 100 pounds. So we're gonna put the 250s on there and continue going up. Heavy duty 440 ball link from Dubro failed at 110 pounds installed on the tray for a total of 115.7 pounds and the and I'm not sure whether the ball came out and broke off or whether the ball actually broke off and then came out of the ball joint. All right, next up is the Dubro 440 Easy Adjust Ball Link, part number 259. Now this has been installed with a washer so the ball doesn't pull out. And we've also tightened the retention screw to the amount that I would feel comfortable in a normal install in an aircraft. The Dubro Easy Adjust Ball Link number 259 failed with 154 pounds added to the platform 
for a total of 159.7 pounds, performing much better than I expected. And the failure point was the compression screw giving way and the ball link opening up. But it appears that the ball link did not stretch and fail. All right, next up is, we'll just call it a monster ball link. I don't believe this is Dubro. I believe it came with a Hangar 9 kit, but it was floating around in my parts box and it looks like it's a monster ball link. It's got a hex set up on the shaft. So if you can identify it, make sure you list it in the comments below. Let's see how this one does. So with 84 pounds on there, you can already see it starting to stretch. So we're gonna let it sit there for a little bit and see if it fails. So at 92 pounds, we're definitely beyond the usable point of this ball link because it's already stretched out. It hasn't failed yet. So it's still holding on. We'll add another eight. So the monster ball link, maybe from Dubro, started to stretch at 80 pounds on the platform, so 85.7 pounds total. Total failure happened at 108 pounds on the platform and 113.7 pounds total. All right guys, next up is our classic Sullivan Golden Clevis in 440 size. Now in our last test video, this was the clear winner. It did very well. Just from memory, I think it was like 187 pounds or somewhere in that range. This time we're gonna be testing it without the retaining clip. Now my prediction for this is I don't think it's gonna do very well. 178 pounds, 191. So the Sullivan 440 Golden Clevis without a clip failed at 191 pounds on the platform for a total weight of 196.7 pounds, the pin shearing in half. Alright guys, this last one is a full aluminum ball joint with a brass ball. Now I believe this came from a Skymaster or a Jet Legend kit. They're old, they've been sitting in my parts box for a long time. I would never use these on an airplane because they have lots of play and slop just to begin with. But we're gonna test it and see how this goes. Now, I don't think the actual ball joint itself will fail just because of the design. Um, it can probably hold a crap ton of weight, but I think what we're gonna see is either the nuts on top are gonna fail, the carbon's gonna fail, or my ropes are gonna fail. Um, I don't know if I have enough weight, but let's see what we can do. All right, guys, well, that's all the weight I have. I don't know what it is, but I'll count it and put it in the bottom of the screen here. That's everything I've got. Um, the carbon is extremely bent right now. I don't really want this to fail and shoot me in the face, so I'm gonna stop here. Um, these ropes are only weighted to, or rated to, I think, 20 pounds each. So I think we've kind of pushed our limits here, but obviously this is strong. Not very productive as far as um, slop and stuff goes, but we know that this is strong and it's not gonna fail under like probably 200 pounds of weight. So let's pull this weight off. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed the testing in this round of clevis and ball joint testing. There was really no clear winner or loser because we tested so many different styles of ball joints and captive ball joints and clevises. Some of the surprising results from my end was the Dubro plastic clevis with the built-in clip. I was not expecting it to withstand over 100 pounds of force, which it did. Um, the captive ball as well too did way better than I thought it was going to do. Um, the adjustable ball link with the, uh, the little screw on the end, the uh, number 259 from Dubro, that did in incredibly well, uh, way better than I expected. The Sullivan Clevis without the clip, I think did better than previously with the clip or very, very close. So that, that's quite surprising as well too. So that's it guys. These kind of ideas guys come from you, the viewers. So if you have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see on the channel, 
don't hesitate to list it down below. You can shoot me an email as well too. If you're a manufacturer that uh, manufactures something RC related and you want it tested, feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to test it. Uh, it's gonna be an honest test review that's gonna be unbiased and just allow the viewers of my channel to experience exactly how things perform. So thanks guys for tuning into this episode. If this is your first time coming across my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video.